everyone, my name is Milena and I'm a student at the University of Toronto and I'm going to be showing you how to make your stick figure drawings come to life. Have you ever wondered what makes dry erase markers different from permanent markers and specifically why some markers can be erased and others stay forever? Well today I'm going to be showing you how dry erase markers react with water and we're going to be explaining our observations by looking at different physical properties such as solubility and density. Here are the materials you will need to do this experiment. Draw on the plate or surface. You can try drawing a stick figure, letters, or solid shapes. Carefully pour water onto the plate. Look at what's happening to your drawings. Try to see if you can pick any of them up. Feel free to try this experiment again, but this time change the drawing surface, marker color, or water temperature and see which one works best. Dry erase markers, unlike permanent marker, contain ink that isn't very adhesive. Adhesion refers to two things sticking together, so in this case it's the marker ink sticking to the plate or surface. The ink in dry erase markers is also insoluble in water, which means that it doesn't dissolve in water, and this explains why the ink doesn't wash away when you pour water onto the plate. The ink is also less dense than water, which means that the molecules are not as tightly packed together. So when an object is less dense than water, it becomes buoyant and floats to the surface. Another example of this is a boat floating on water. Similarly, the boat has a lower density overall than water, so it floats. But in certain situations, such as when water enters the boat, the density becomes higher than water and it ends up sinking. Essentially, what happens is when you first draw on the surface, the marker ink forms a very thin solid on the surface. Once you pour water, the higher density of the water pushes the marker ink up because it overwhelms the slight stickiness of the ink, and then we see the floating images. What we've learned with this experiment is that the various physical properties of an object can explain why it behaves in certain ways. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!